Hi everybody, welcome to this uh, briefing, this virtual briefing. This year we are also sending it by video, by email, so you can watch it in your house quietly as soon as uh, you can with the technical information about this Trans Gran Canaria HG 2022. We are very happy, very enthusiastic to celebrate this uh, 20th anniversary. You know that we were born in 2003, this 2022 we celebrate our first 20 years of life in uh, Trans Gran Canaria and I'm going to just explain quite a few technical uh, sections, quite a, uh, the, well, the uh, modifications, the changes that we've introduced in this uh, new edition. You're only going to receive your races information okay if you're running the marathon you will receive the marathon information if you're running the classic the classic information and so on but first i am going to tell you about the common aspects of this trans gran canaria okay so we're going to go through the common aspects of uh, this uh, 2022 edition and we are starting with uh, one of the most uh, frequently asked questions is about the covid protocols uh, last year we had a very tough edition with the covid situation but this year it's a bit more flexible no, we are not relaxed uh, about this topic but it's going to be a bit a little bit softer the covid protocols in this uh, trans gran canaria we are starting with the face mask okay the face mask will be mandatory in uh, the VIP collection in Expo Meloneras, uh, obviously uh, in, the, in every closed um, uh, building that we are going to celebrate this Trans Gran Canaria and it's also going to be mandatory in the race departure, in the race start, we're going to have a, a separation, a security separation in, the, in every race start and we, you're going to have to wear your face mask and once you uh, go uh, below the start arc, you can take it off and start running without any problem. But please keep in mind that you will have to wear your face mask and it's part of the mandatory equipment of uh, this Trans Gran Canaria 2022. The race departures will be different than last year. Last year, everybody had their own individual time. This year, uh, it will be a traditional race start with everybody having just one time. Okay, If the classic race starts at 11 uh, p.m., everybody will have the exact same time. We will uh, be placed uh, in order of the estimated times that you have uh, introduced in your race entry, but the race will only have one time. No, not like last year, that it was a little bit tricky because uh, we didn't know if the person uh, arriving at the finish line was the first or second runner until everybody was at the finish line, but this year we will only have uh, one time, one official time for everyone. We will have separation, security separation in the beginning of uh, every race, but I insist the time will be a, new, a unique time for every race. Uh, about the external support, the crew that can assist you uh, during the race, this year it will be allowed, okay? We updated this information a couple of weeks ago in our website and it will be allowed in uh, the Classic, the Advanced and the Marathon races. Those are the three races where you can have external support always uh, in the space between 100 meters before and 100 meters after the official aid station, never inside uh, the official aid station, but you can have uh, your crew in uh, every aid station except El Hornillo, which only affects to the Trans Gran Canaria Classic, uh, the Roque Nublo parking, which affects uh, three of them, and in uh, Ayagaures. Okay, these uh, three points are very difficult uh, to have access by car, so uh, we please request that you don't go to the other places and uh, just focus in the other spots of the island where you can have easy access to the runners. So just a quick reminder, El Hornillo, uh, Parking Roque Nublo and Ayagaures are forbidden for the external, uh, the external assistance. It may seem uh, quite obvious, but we kindly ask you to respect the mandatory equipment that uh, we request for every race. Uh, is Gran Canaria is not uh, always sunny, it's not always warm. Uh, we, we have quite a lot of differences between the coast and the summit of the island. Uh, we're going to have temperatures near zero degrees, okay? So please uh, take that in mind that you are going to have go through lots of different temperatures during the race. And uh, this is quite important because you will, uh, last year we, ha we had a lot of withdrawals in the summit of the island because they were literally freezed. So this year, please uh, take that in mind. It doesn't matter if you uh, are carrying a little bit more of weight because you have to uh, carry a little jacket or anything that is waterproof. And please uh, keep in mind that we have to uh, protect you. It's for security reasons and you must take the mandatory equipment 
the races are also uh, they we will have judges so in any moment we can ask you to show us our your mandatory equipment okay before the race starts everyone has to get their uh, bib and this will be at the uh, congress center of expo veloneras the same as the last seven years in uh, mass palomas there you will have to go with your face mask and please respect the previous appointment that you have uh, requested in uh, your race entry okay everyone has a specific hour you can be there uh, and visiting the trail zone in the expo veloneras and uh, collecting your your bib but please to have the uh, control of the capacity of expo veloneras we kindly ask you to uh, go specifically at the time that you appointed in your race entry at the bib collection please uh, check everything that uh, we give you because some of the runners have hired a gps service some have hired a hoodie some have uh, hired an extra bib as a souvenir so please uh, check that you receive uh, everything or a, a 226 uh, Dodo says uh, pack of uh, nutrition please check that you receive everything because uh, obviously we want to give you everything that you that you deserve and this year we have a little surprise uh, besides the t-shirt that is amazing and all the souvenirs that we give you in your runner's bag we're going to give you a, a personalized poster of Gran Canaria with your name so you can uh, take it back home and have a nice souvenir of Trans Gran Canaria the bib collection will also be the moment for your drop back service you have two possibilities for the runners of the classic distance you can have a drop back service at el garañón you have to take your belongings there to the bib collection area for our team to uh, put it in a plastic bag and take it to el garañón where you will find it uh, easily in uh, in the aid station and every runner of every distance uh, has the possibility of uh, giving us some belongings uh, as a luggage for you to find uh, a new bag at the finish line at Parque Sur. Okay, both, uh, both uh, services are available at the moment of the bib collection. The drug bag service of El Garañón, you will collect it on Monday, on sorry, on uh, Sunday morning in Expo Meloneras. The finish line, obviously, you will collect it in the finish line in Parque Sur of Mas Palomas. There is a possibility of our team giving you a third bag. It's only for the people who have hired it uh, during their race entry, which is a, a start line bag, okay? For you to give us your jackets, your, uh, your belongings that you don't need uh, to start the race. And this bag will also uh, be collected at the finish line in uh, Parque Sur after your race. I wish that you don't need this, but we need to tell you about the protocol of withdrawing, of quitting the race. Uh, it happens lots of times, especially in the long distance races. So uh, you will have an emergency number in your beep, printed in your beep. That will be the one that you uh, need to call in case you have uh, any emergencies. Uh, but please just request an emergency service if you really need to. OK, it is not nice to for us to deploy an emergency service uh, for uh, very light uh, injuries or for very light uh, reasons. So please just call if you really need it and the withdrawals uh, have to be made in the aid stations, okay? If you are really hurt, you obviously request an evacuation with our medical service, but if you can continue, please uh, withdraw in an aid station. You communicate it, okay? You officially tell the organization team in the aid station that you are withdrawing, and in case you don't have any assistance, in case you don't have any means of uh, getting back uh, home or getting to the finish line, the race organization has a transfer uh, at several hours that goes uh, through every aid station uh, picking up the people who have withdrawn the race okay it is not a quick service you don't uh, get to mas palomas until you go through uh, lots of of towns but keep in mind that you have this possibility in case you don't have any other services to get into the finish line Okay, many runners have asked about the contents of the aid station, what food, what drinks we are going to find there. It is already published in our website. You go to our website and you look for the uh, aid stations tag and there you have specified in every single station what you're going to find with uh, uh, sweet food, with salty food, with energetic bars, with uh, liquids, everything you will have it specified there and you're also going to receive it in another link with uh, this communication. It is very important that you take your own uh, glass, your own uh, flask to uh, fill your uh, your flask in the aid station because you're not going to have 
cups or any kind of glasses in uh, the aid stations of Trans Gran Canaria. Okay, as usual, you have to take your own flask uh, during all the race to fill your liquids in the aid station. Okay, before the race starts, everyone has to get their uh, bib, and this will be at the uh, Congress Center of Expo Beloneras, the same as the last seven years in uh, Mas Palomas. There you will have to go with your face mask, and please respect the previous appointment that you have uh, requested in uh, your race entry, okay? Everyone has a specific hour, you can be there uh, and visiting the trail zone in the Expo Beloneras and uh, collecting your, your bib, but please, to have the uh, control of the capacity of Expo Meloneras, we kindly ask you to uh, go specifically at the time that you appointed in your race entry. At the bib collection, please uh, check everything that uh, we give you because some of the runners have hired a GPS service, some have hired a hoodie, some have uh, hired an extra bib as a souvenir. So please uh, check that you receive uh, everything or a, a 226 a uh, Dodo says uh, pack of uh, nutrition. Please check that you receive everything because uh, obviously we want to give you everything that you that you deserve. And this year we have a little surprise uh, besides the t-shirt that is amazing and all the souvenirs that we give you in your runner's bag. We're going to give you a, a personalized poster of Gran Canaria with your name so you can uh, take it back home and have a nice souvenir of Trans Gran Canaria. The bib collection will also be the moment for your drop back service. You have two possibilities for the runners of the classic distance. You can have a drop back service at El Garañón. You have to take your belongings there to the bib collection area for our team to uh, put it in a plastic bag and take it to El Garañón where you will find it uh, easily in, uh, in the aid station. And every runner of every distance uh, has the possibility of uh, giving us some belongings uh, as a luggage for you to find uh, a new bag at the finish line at Parque Sur. Okay, both, uh, both uh, services are available at the moment of the bib collection. The drug bag service of El Garañón, you will collect it on Monday, on, sorry, on uh, Sunday morning in Expo Meloneras. The finish line, obviously, you will collect it in the finish line in Parque Sur of Mas Palomas. There is a possibility of our team giving you a third bag. It's only for the people who have hired it uh, during the race entry, which is a, a start line bag, okay? For you to give us your jackets, your, uh, your belongings that you don't need uh, to start the race. And this bag will also uh, be collected at the finish line in Parque Sur after your race. So we are now in Artenara. Uh, the runners of the classic race will have the eighth station in uh, the warehouse of Artenara and the advanced race will have the race departure at the square. Be in front of the church of Artenara, Plaza San Matias will be the place of the departure of this uh, spectacular advanced race. More than 750 runners are registered in this, uh, in this race distance. So you will have a very nice and runnable uh, trail uh, from Artenara to Tejeda and after uh, leaving Tejeda Take in mind that this year the aid station is in a different place in Tejeda. You have to take a detour, uh, not especially uh, long, it's just about 50 meters, to go to the square of Tejeda, to the main square of Tejeda, where the uh, town hall is. There we will have the aid station of uh, Trans Gran Canaria. Please follow the course marking of the race. After leaving Tejeda, uh, this year we have a very different course from the last years. Uh, in the past we climbed to Roque Nublo through La Culata. This year we will be heading left to uh, El Garañón, where the advanced race starts, uh, with the, where the marathon race starts, sorry. And uh, it, this is um, a new section, it's about 3-4 kilometers of a very steep uh, uphill going to Garañón. So please take in mind that uh, after the aid station of uh, Tejeda and after leaving the town, you have a very steep uphill heading to El Garañón, where the marathon race starts. So we are now in uh, El Garañón Lodge with the last marathon for the classic uh, race runners. And with the race departure of the marathon distance in Trans Gran Canaria. The classic uh, uh, race runners will have their drop back service here in the big room in the Aula Cinco, we call it in uh, El Garañón. There you will have your drop back service that you can uh, change your clothes and uh, leave back the, uh, your belongings there. And uh, you will also have 
a big dining room if you want to have your hot meal in uh, El Garañón and you will also have a quick aid station in case you don't need to have uh, a big meal there in uh, El Garañón. You will also have a medical service placed in one of the rooms in uh, El Garañón. For the marathon runners, you will have a different uh, start system than uh, the uh, previous one. You will have a, a loop of 800 meters so you can uh, separate yourself before entering the first uh, narrow trail that we are heading in this uh, marathon race through the Presa de Hornos. And then uh, you will have one of the uh, biggest uh, novelties of this year in Transgran Canaria that is you're going to go to El Rocanub, okay? It's a harder section than the previous years, but we think it's worth it because you're going to uh, see and touch El, El Rocanublo, please. Uh, take in mind that in uh, the base of the Rocanublo, you will have runners going uh, one side or another because it's a, a loop of about 200 meters, but the chrono system is in the timing system, is in the base of the Rocanublo, so it is mandatory that you go to the Rocanublo and go back in the same trail, okay? You will face uh, runners coming in your own way, but uh, just it's not a problem. Just take in mind that. Uh, you will have to go through the right of the trail so everyone has a, a logical way of uh, doing this, this loop in El Rocanublo. Once you go down, uh, you will face another uh, new feature in this Transgran Canaria, the aid station in the parking of uh, El Rocanublo. Remember, not possibility uh, of uh, having external assistance in, uh, in this point and uh, this will be only a liquid aid station, okay? Only water, Pepsi, and um, uh, the, the energetic drink. After this quick aid station, we are facing uh, another new and a little bit technical section of this uh, Trans Gran Canaria course uh, with, uh, with the climb to El Montañón, where you may have uh, the chance of uh, putting uh, some hands because it's a little bit, a little bit technical, but it's a very short uh, uphill, but Remember that it's, this is a quite technical section after the parking Rocanublo. Then you're heading the, the Goyada de Hornos, uh, quite flat terrain, and you will face one of the most emblematic parts of Trans Gran Canaria, which is the descent of La Plata, a uh, zigzag with a heavy stone in the, in the floor, in the trails. So it's quite spectacular, but just take in mind, uh, take it easy, because it's a long way down with the zigzag, and you will face, uh, you will head to Tunte, where is the place that the starter race begins. So we are now at Tunte, the municipality of San Bartolome de Tirajana is where the starter race begins, and uh, obviously where the rest of the races go through the final section of this uh, Transit in Canaria. For the runners uh, of the other races, you have your aid station uh, behind the uh, football pitch. The runners of the starter race will begin inside the football court of uh, Tunte. Okay, the runners of the starter race, please access to the inside of uh, the uh, football court in Tunte. Uh, you will have a very light uh, uphill, uh, where it's a, bit of, a little bit tough at the end, but it's not a very, very hard uphill uh, to La Manzanilla, and then you will head down to uh, Ayagaures through the trail of uh, El Ventoso, uh, Senda del Diablo, we also call it. Uh, this is a nice trail, downhill, but not very technical. Heading to the last section of the race, uh, Ayagaures, where the last, the shorter uh, distance starts in this uh, schedule of uh, Trans Gran Canaria. So we are now at Ayagaures, the place uh, where the Promo the Youth and the Family Trail uh, begins and the last 15 kilometers of uh, this uh, Trans Gran Canaria race. The runners from the, the shorter distance, the Promo distance, will start in the wall, in the main wall of uh, the dam of uh, Ayagaures, and the runners of the uh, longer distances will have an aid station there and you will have to go uh, back and forth uh, just beneath the, the wall of the dam. Uh, it will be clearly indicated so you, will not have, uh, you won't have any, any issues there to find your aid station. You will only have uh, three kilometers, about three kilometers of uh, uphill, very light uh, and in a wide uh, track. And the runners of the promo distance will have a specific aid station in the top part of uh, of this track. Okay, it is it will only be uh, for the runners of the shorter version of uh, Trans Gran Canaria. 
Once you leave this area, you go down and you will find one of the, the most uh, common talked about uh, Transgran Canaria areas, that is the riverbed of uh, Vicentillo. See, people are quite afraid of this riverbed, but uh, it's, uh, well, it's quite hard, uh, especially for those who are doing the longer distances, because you have very large uh, rocks, you don't know where to place your foot uh, sometimes but uh, it's about uh, three kilometers of a very uh, slow path in, uh, in this uh, dry riverbed at Vicentillos. We uh, have a water point there, a refreshment point that uh, you will find during all the day. It's not official, but uh, we also uh, give you some water there if you need to. And then you will head to the new finish line, which is in Parque Sur de Mas Palomas. So we're now at Mas Palomas, Parque Sur de Mas Palomas, the new finish line of uh, Transgran Canaria. I promise you it will be different, will be uh, spectacular. We will have uh, every type of uh, uh, concerts. We have uh, special groups there for the animation of the finish line. So we cheer you up and your crew to go to this finish line at Parque Sur de Mas Palomas. The parking site for the, the public, the crowd, will be uh, beside the, uh, the hospital, the medical center of uh, Mas Palomas. Please check that we will have it marked. We will postmark it also, the parking of uh, Transgran Canaria, which will be free. And that area is quite comfortable for the parking of, uh, of everyone that's going to the finish line of uh, Transgran Canaria. I repeat, we'll have a, a very special finish line and uh, there you will have uh, food, you will have a meal uh, which will be free for everyone. In, the, in your race entry, you had the chance uh, to hire a finish line meal. This money has been reimbursed to every runner that, has, uh, that hired it in, the, in your moment. And we will have a very big meal for everyone if the health condition uh, allows it, but it will have a, a meal for everyone, which will be free for every runner. So just uh, enjoy this moment because it will be the last part of your adventure in uh, Trans Grand Canaria. Also remember that you can collect your uh, finish line bag and uh, your start line bag. Both of these, this luggage, you can collect it in uh, Parque Sur de Mas Palomas, not the one of uh, of the drug bag service in El Garañón, which will be collected on a, a Sunday morning in Expo Meloneras. Just enjoy this uh, epic race, this uh, nice adventure. Trans Gran Canaria, we're celebrating 20 years and we are very proud to have you in uh, this uh, special edition. Just take in mind to uh, control your own security, please. It is very important that we want to have everyone safe and sound in uh, Mas Paloma, so enjoy. Uh, just finish your last trainings, focus on uh, Trans Gran Canaria, and we will see you next weekend.